Hey, it's time for Pioneer Update, where we bring you up to date with a lot of activities in the Batesville Public School System, a service of the Citizens Bank, a bank built for you. Today, we get a chance to talk to the counselors again. We have Courtney Wallace and Lee Keller with us today. Uh, Ladies, first of all, thanks so much for coming by again, and lots going on, really, this so much going on. During the end of the year? Mm-hmm. Yes, spring is always a crazy time. It is really, isn't it? And what about this college and career fair that I, I've heard you talk about a little? Yes, we are so excited to be able to do a college and career fair this year mm-hmm. um, for juniors and seniors and really just all grade levels. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that will be April 21st. Um, April 21st, okay. Yes. And so we are looking at gathering different colleges and um, tech schools and different careers, um, just that students may be interested and they can be planning for and just kind of seeing what their options may look like. Where, where'd you say you were going to hold it or have you? We will be holding it at the high school. At the high school, mm-hmm. okay. And that's coming, well, let's, you know what? It's next month. Next month, it's so, coming up. <laughs> the spring always goes so fast. It does, doesn't January it? January, and you look up. I it's think April. it's because <laughs> you have so many important things uh, that are going on in the spring. I have written this word cap. Why did I do that? Yes, cap conferences are what we use to um, kind of guide the students for their plan, for their four-year plan, and mm-hmm. then for their plan on the, what their classes they're going to be next year. And so we have that coming up on March 18th. Mm-hmm. It's the day before spring break because we're not in school on the 19th, mm-hmm. and all the teachers rejoiced, um, and kids. <laughs> and so it's just something where kids meet with their second block teacher, their mentor teacher, okay, and they pick their classes for next year. And okay. so it's kind of a process. Usually we have met with kids, you know, multiple times in the year mm-hmm. but with this being such a weird year with virtual and in-person learning um you know a lot of it's been online and so mm-hmm. if you have not heard from your child's second block teacher you need to probably reach out to them they're going to be trying to reach out to you to schedule a time to meet on that day yes and we and do that in the cafeteria everybody every 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 member of our faculty and staff is in the cafeteria that day. Wow. And then we sit down and plan out schedules. It's really kind of a fun day. I always think cat mm-hmm. conferences are fun because <laughs> um, we get to kind of meander around and visit with parents and sure. you know answer questions for teachers. And so it's a great time for kids to just start really think about what am I doing next year? What do I want to do next year? Um, mm-hmm. And kind of make some plans for their life. Well, I think that's good. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm glad that you do that. Junior ACT coming up? Next week. And this oh. is rescheduled. It was scheduled for, we had the snow break, and then it was going to be that next day we came back. Mm-hmm. And so it's rescheduled. All of our juniors take the ACT, and it can count for college admittance. And so that is next Tuesday. So we want to make sure everybody gets a good night's sleep Monday night, eats breakfast Tuesday yes. morning, and comes in. It does count for college um, and it's just, you know, it's an ACT test that they can use just like the other ACT scores. And I've seen some ACT scores from Batesville that are tremendously high. We have yeah. some amazing kids. We have some yeah. amazing kids at Batesville High School. You really do. <laughs> you really do. And words out might be a prom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yay. We do have prom. We do have prom. So we don't know where we're going to have it. Maybe your house. How you feel about that? How you feel about that? So we don't have a location. We do have it narrowed down to two dates. And so hopefully we'll be able to announce that date by the end oh, of the good. week. Mm-hmm. Um, it will be in either April or May. Obviously, it's not going to be in March because um, we still need to get you know a DJ. We mm-hmm. need a location. But we are going to get to have prom this year. This is the class that last year they did not get to have prom as juniors. They did not get to have homecoming. So we're super excited that we get to have prom for them so we can yes. just celebrate the end of this year and i noticed that arkansas has been doing so good with its covid situation lately that things mm-hmm. keep opening up absolutely so. our kids you know we had district basketball on mm-hmm. uh, monday night and then we yes. have it again tonight and it was just amazing to actually see a student section oh, it was yes. just like old times i was like oh my gosh it feels normal mm-hmm. it's the first normal our poor kids have probably Boy, they really had the girls go. going there in the oh first my gosh quarter, it was an awesome it? game did. it was an awesome game and so each one of them uh, carries a little bit more um, uh, importance as they move along now and uh, what this be a championship it uh, will we play jonesboro well, tonight at seven oh o'clock. jonesboro's good too so it'll be a good our game. girls are better well of course <laughs> of course of course lee keller courtney wallace our guest counselors at the high school telling you just how things are coming together here at the end of the year you've been listening to pioneer update